Guys. Hold on. Guys. Uh, I'm not even going to wait till this game is over. I'm not even going to wait. These impulsive, how do you want to say, in the moment instantaneous posts or whatever, I wasn't going to do, but I did it once based on certainty in that Illinois game. And I'm going to regret this because instantaneously there was there was things that like I was evaluating in that game that just aren't going to get better. And then I got smart. I got smarter because I kept paying attention to how the games were going from that point on, regardless of who they were playing. Like, for a team that has no talent gap for the most part against the majority of teams that they're going to play, there's not much of a talent gap. The reason why they keep losing is because they keep shooting themselves in the foot. Now, you take that team and watch them, just the team. Don't, don't care about who they're playing. Just watch the team themselves and watch how they progress. Just, just watch how they continue to lessen and lessen and lessen how they shoot themselves in the foot. Enter Northwestern. Northwestern's the bottom of the barrel. They're right there with Illinois. They're right there with, um, as the season progresses, you know, maybe maybe a Rutgers um, bottom tier of the, the, the conference. So what? Northwestern has a good front O-line, good front D-line. Um, they've been good against the run up till now. When was the last time you saw Nebraska play this flawless? When? I'm talking four years, five years, six years, seven years, eight years. When was the last time you saw them this flawless? No penalties. Amazing blocking up front. Fixing the offensive line. Offensive line that looked completely abysmal. Looked like not even... They looked like a high school offensive line, practically. To all of a sudden not have any penalties. Start moving guys off the ball. Punting. Suddenly, all of a sudden you got the punter just launching an 80-some-odd-yard punt. Connor Culpas looked good. I mean, it, we knew the defense was good. Adrian has been playing lights out. That continued. I've been optimistic since since preseason. That Illinois, Illinois game took a little bit of wind out of my sail, but man, I've been optimistic ever since every time I watch this team. And... <laughs> Man, hey, they are about ready to go into the meat of their schedule. Michigan next, you know, Wisconsin looks beatable. Like, whatever, I'm not going to go through the schedule. I'm just giving, like, an immediate reaction. Game's not even over. You know, I I just, I, man, I just had to had to touch in on some of that excitement. And it's just, it's just good to see them as a team playing well against an invisible opponent. I don't care who the opponent is. Like, even against Fordham, even against Fordham, like, they were just making mistakes that were shooting themselves in the foot, you know what I mean? But because it was an inferior opponent, um, you know, it, it didn't matter as much, okay? Yeah, Northwestern's an inferior opponent, not nearly as good a talent, but the, the, the point is, is the, 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 the 11 men on offense and defense and special teams, they're not miscue. there's no miscues. What and I'm telling you, like every single game up to this Northwestern game, they're 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 brain farts. They're they're shooting themselves in the foot. Have been getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Yes, the offensive line looked ridiculously bad against Michigan State, but their their screw ups were just getting minimal and minimal. They won that game against Michigan State, except one major mistake. Everything looks good. Everything has looked good. I guess the reason why I'm so optimistic, or not optimistic, the reason why I'm so happy about this is, and I've been preaching this, I guess, to, to anybody who will listen, <laughs> this team has, this team has the players to, to the, 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 the leadership to enact changes. Okay, to 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 efficiently to they're pissed off. They are pissed off. They want it so bad. And I guess this game 
You hope it continues through the meat of their schedule. You hope it continues. You hope that that painful, gut-wrenching loss that never should have happened against Michigan State on how well they performed so flawlessly. I've never seen them play this flawlessly for however many years. It's been a long time. Been a long time. You, you, you hope that you're witnessing that turning the corner. All you naysayers, whiners, and complainers that hey, can't stand Frost and want to be validated that he's terrible. All, uh, same thing with Adrian. You want to be validated that Adrian is terrible. You guys are going to have to drop your egos and get on board. Are they going to Are they gonna the, just, just all of a sudden go undefeated the rest of the season as tough as this schedule is? Probably not. I'm looking at how this team is progressing by themselves. Just, just those 11 boys playing next to each other. And how they're not literally one guy with a six shooter next to his buddy shooting him in the foot, being like, <laughs> "How was that?" You know, that's it's 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 slowly being cut off. Again, the talent gap is not that steep. They can hang with any any team in the Big Ten. Doesn't mean they're gonna win, but they can hang with any team in the Big Ten if they stop shooting themselves in the foot and truly see what they can do against any of these teams. They had to get over step one, which was stop shooting themselves in the foot. And literally in a week, suddenly offensive line looks great. No penalties. Punter can all of a sudden punt. Kicker can all of a sudden kick. All I'm saying is that in a week, with the right determination, look what just happened. You just hope that it continues. I think it will. I think they got the right players. They got the right players, guys. Whew, what a good game. All right, I'm going to finish the game. Um, hey, you know the drill. If you like what you see over here, <laughs> give me some love. Give me some love. Give me all the thumbs up. Give me the subscribes. Give me all that stuff. Man, I just, I'm happy what I had to see. I had to do this real quick. All right, enjoy the rest of the game, guys.